Hello everyone, I hope you all doing great in your life. Video of today is based on columns calculation and we will focus on few things. One, column calculation. Second, shuttering measurements. Third, how plan shift add value here in column calculation. And fourth, how to create the formula in plan shift. And fix will be additional benefit how plan shift can link with existing Excel sheet, your calculation sheet, so you can save your more time. These will be our five major things we're gonna discuss today. So let's begin. Let's begin with one. We just need to see the example. So uh, I have the plan shift and we will focus on powerful way but without plans if some engineers they need to print the pages and use the ruler and spend a lot of time manually. Our focus will be on plan shift and all the example will be through the plan shift. So let's begin. First thing I have the drawings here which is provided by the client or another concerned person. I have all the drawing here ground first second. You can see here I have already uploaded the drawings here. Secondly, I have the column detail where I can see the length and width and I have the elevation and section drawing where I can see the height which is compulsory to get the volume. Fine, it means I have all the drawing. This is first. Second thing, on the other side, I have my sample Excel sheet. You can maybe prepare in the same manner or maybe you can prepare better than me. It's just an example to give you the idea. Here, uh, what I have here, I need quantities and length, width and height we can see from the drawing. It's a parameter which is simple calculation, uh, length and width multiply by 2. It's a parameter only. Why we need it, we will see later in the video. Fine. So these three things we need it for volume. It's a simple calculation, nothing else. So right now I am multiplying by my length width and height here to get the volume. It's a simple calculation, find it's a volume. So this, I got it from the software. So before we start, we can just open our Excel sheet and our plan shift, you can see here. And firstly, just prepare it. You see here, I just saw the schedule, the detail, and it's, I just updated here accordingly. C1, this is the detail, C2, this is the detail, and C3. From where I get the height, I open the elevation drawing and from here I get the height from here I understand we have to ignore the slab part uh, and this detail but as a as an ID I just took this one okay and it's fine if we consider it as a wastage so if you know better till what is the height exact height you can just type that height okay so these three values I took it from drawing from the project fine what is pending right now? Pending is quantity. Fine. So how plan shift can add a value? We will start. So I have my drawings here and Excel sheet. Now I will show you in a powerful way of working. The first way is plan shift and Excel integration. In this way, plan shift can link with this sheet and we don't need to type the value. You will see how it's going to happen. I'm going to connect this sheet. This feature is available only in the latest version. I'm using right now 10.2. So if you don't have the latest version, you may not able to see this feature on the top. So you have to uh, work by the second way. Don't worry, after some time, I will explain the second way as well. So let's focus how the maximum uh, benefit we can take it from here. Now, I just need to right click anywhere and I can start. Maybe I need to start by C1. I just need to right click here. Plan shift is on the top and I can choose the tool. Which tool do you think can help me here? Not an area, not the linear, it's counting. So once I click here, now focus. Once I click, it directly open the software. So I can simply type a name, it's C1. I can choose the shape, how visually it's gonna look alike. I can choose a color, main is name here. Name. Now once I press OK, see under this floor, just now item is created c1 and zero number ea is each fine so where is c1 i can simply click there wherever i find the c1 i simply need to click it if i find out i highlighted all i can right click and stop under this floor 
you can see the ground floor three numbers are here and the benefit i don't need to type the value the length width is just by but from the drawing we typed here so it automatically give us the total volume so it's automatically here later we will have c2 let's get one more example count this time it's c2 we can change the color we can from here name and color these are the two important thing press ok once you press ok under this floor c2 is created zero number and same concept wherever you find it you need to click click it's here and there now I, I i know few things i forget to add or i'm going to skip now i will right click and stop under this floor six numbers are here if you open the excel sheet it's updated already later after some time i find it i forget to add c2 no worries now remember this value it's 6.0 and six number okay open the plan shift press the green button once you press it software will show before you stop that six and add once you add the three number right click and stop numbers are increased nine here and if you go to the excel sheet didn't type it's nine number now and it's already in an excel sheet updated this is the benefit that i was talking about you don't need to type the value anymore value will automatically come okay later we will have more so right click plan shift and count here we have c3 different by the way we can change the shape if we really want press ok so on this floor just now added c3 zero number where is c3 as an example you see oh it's still same how to add it by the way right click property it should be circle you see it's changed as a plus we can change as we want let's keep it square press ok c3 i added if i miss something here i missed just press the green button and we can add now uh, almost done c3 right click and stop it's here it's uh, three items are done quantity here let's add one more before we start let's see it if we have c4 okay we have it right click in a cell plan shift is on the top count now i'll try to be quick choose the shape choose the color and just simply click once you're done right click and stop items are here and it's on excel sheet now quickly i will finish these two okay i highlighted all now you can see here i have the legend below i can see here total numbers and it's here items are uh, here under the floor under the ground floor i have these items each each number separately and on the excel sheet i have the updated value it's a regular excel sheet if i want i can hide something it's fine you may think i am spending extra time right click and counting one by one it's extra time but the benefit here working in organized way anytime i realize i made a mistake maybe it's not c2 i just need to press this button delete point it's updated here and it's updated in the excel sheet i don't need to type i don't need to modify later i realize no actually this is the number press the button i can add it nine number and nine so you will spend one time extra few time you will spend extra time but you will not repeat it and it's in an organized way after six months after the year you change it automatically update it so till now what we did we just get the value from the software and total number uh, total volume we have it here fine so this is one if you want i will just hide it temporarily just to keep the focus here so this is the total volume it's just a total sum and down it's just the wastage factor just to have a waste 10 percentage it's a regular formula you can add 20 percent or more it's up to you fine so if it's a column path it's cleared we, i just multiply the quantity with these three things fine now what if i need the shuttering as well i need the shuttering it's also important so we can cover the shuttering in the same topic so if we need a shuttering it's nothing but a calculation i already have the length and width why not to multiply with the height and we'll get it same time now what i did this is the one i'll change a color so at least we can focus on it so you see here it's a parameter 
so I just simply multiply the length and width multiply by 2 so I have the total rectangle so this is total uh, parameter only and once I multiply this parameter with the height which is already I provided it's nothing but a calculation so I have the square meter at the same time so this is already prepared I didn't tie up anything and I have the shuttering also what exactly I did I just calculate the total column which is by the plan shift so same sheet I can use for multiple different projects as well I just need to prepare such sheet one time and plan shift will add more value more benefit in it so this is the first way in 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 this way we can save more time by connecting this is one second is what if you cannot connect or you don't like this way of working so let's learn the second way minimize this shade it's not important to follow in the same manner let's see the second way setting second way is we can create our own formula here our template here and so we can save our more time how it's going to happen we'll see it i'll choose different floor from here i can choose it as many i want fine this is the one on the right side you can see here i have created formula once I click Sadi, I can see my formula, how you can create it, how you can save you more time and see when you press the button, I see additional thing. How to bring this? We will learn this all. Fine. And before that, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how to use plan shift, how to create the job here and how to set the scale or other uh, tools or customization so i will suggest you to visit my youtube channel you will find here by sadi chohan by this name you can find me on a youtube and you can see here there are some other videos for customization there are some videos for plugin for formula and uh, i have video in detail for mep trade and civil structure and even other language as well so maybe you can watch this video it will be helpful for you fine now let's continue let's see how template can help us here so on the right side you can see here if i click here template box opens and usually people see only sample template here i have created one tab called sadi so how it gonna help me here customization and template let's see it so i will click here this is the one i have created once I press this button, software asks me what's the name and that's what you see even by pressing the count button from here. But one additional thing is here. I tapped here C1 or C2, name doesn't matter. When I click here on the right side, there is one new tab. I have prepared it. You're not going to see by default in your computer. How is it going to help us? So I can type here height. Okay, height is uh, as an example. Okay, two. I'll keep it as a meter just this example only two two i just kept it press ok now it's created when i click here one two three four five and six i have total numbers only it's same maybe that's what you think it's same but if you go to the estimating tab you can see here c1 you can see the total uh, volume and you can see the total shuttering and it's on which floor you can see here okay it's on the first floor how to get this result directly i will explain you now in detail before we proceed it may confuse us a little bit so i'm gonna move them into another account another folder uh, old press ok i'll just move it up these all should be inside old folder i move this all inside fine this is new one and even i can edit this by clicking here right click and it should be c1 just to differentiate fine now how to get this let's learn the formula go to template i have created this sadi you not gonna say it you have to create new one so you can click here new tab and you can give your name okay my name any tab press okay now there is nothing you just created a new tab what exactly you want you want something related to count okay click here if your result is related to linear click there or area you can follow in the same manner fine so i need a new template that should be as a column fine it should come as a circle and this should be the default size and default color we can define this press ok now this formula is created and if we click here my name 
this formula is created but what exactly we want in it we have to customize so right click in property advance fine what do you want in this view so you can adjust little bit fine I want name if I want I can change it fine there is takeoff there is already few existing property but if you don't want to confuse yourself you can create the new properties how to from here but before that for your understanding from here we can see the name formula input and output units here and it's just a calculation okay now I'm going to create a new property I clicked here add property now this window open and what exactly I want in it so I will give a name okay I need a property called L and what is the type here L stands for length I consider it you can type your complete name it doesn't matter it's a name only so what is the type it's a number it's not a color or text it's a number fine we kept it same I try to keep it simple as much I can so where I want to see it I want to see it in estimating tab so I can choose estimating tab I'm not complex this right now press ok now this property is created what exactly I want in it we will see it I want another property and this property should be as width and this is number also and I keep it in estimating press ok it's created one more I want length width and height and I want as a number and estimating tab press ok so you see here three new properties are created what I want in it we will see it what will be the units is it related to centimeter millimeter you can choose as you want I kept it as a meter fine input and output units are defined okay so these three properties are created if I click here like right now form only the name is here what if I want to see length width and height here as well so I can click here on advance I have to check if I want to say it I have to check these three I checked and when I say form software will show me next time three names as well these three okay go back to advance again click here form layout if you want to arrange the form layout so this will be the view for you name shape length and this if you want to arrange you can arrange it okay uh, length I'll bring it down width I'll bring it down you see here length width and height is separate and you see uh, length, height and width it's together because there is one option same row if I uncheck now it's not in the same row it's gone now it's all separately if we want together we can check same row or we can ignore it fine if you need to divide as a new tab you can see right now there is no tab here it will be it will appear in the same so we can uh, create a new tab column as an example so when I click here you see new tab is created and length will appear there let's move this as well column and column I kept it as same if I will create just if I change the name C1 you see it's go it's gone there I'll keep it all same so these three appear in a same separately fine what if I want to see the units beside so I can check width length and height I want units now these units appear here uh, width length and height something is wrong with the width no it's width width come here let's just move this not this width this one okay you see here units are here sometime it happened we can fix it it's still we can control and we can manage it it's here fine now press ok click here on a form this will be the view next time you see here if I click on a column I can see this in general we will have the name shape and on the other side in the column we'll have it separately press ok ok so in this template if we go to properties we have three new properties and by the way if we need to keep uh, default you know length we can keep it okay default length 2 2 and 2 if we want we can keep it so next time it will appear as it is if we want it but if we want to customize able it's fine okay now uh, one important thing length width and height is created but what exactly we want from it 
we want these to multiply somewhere in quantity right now it show you only number so let's create another one by the way if you want to customize in it directly you can but you will lose the total number so let's create new one quantity 2 I give a name quantity 2 or let's say volume quantity I give a name here volume quantity it's a number and it should appear here press ok so you see here volume quantity appears and I want one more called shuttering it's a number and it should be an estimating press ok so you see here these also created new property what I need in volume quantity I need this ok I can drag then what I want to multiply then width ok then I want to multiply and height so these three, three things I kept it here and the units it should be cubic meter so automatically whatever the length width and height will be there in volume quantity it will automatically multiply and show us this okay what about shuttering so in shuttering we want it's just a simple calculation either you do it in plan shift or in excel you have to spend one time uh, uh, first time you have to spend and then it will be easy for you okay so what I need I need length plus width and it should multiply it should multiply one second I forget to close okay fine it should multiply by 2 so now we have total rectangle now you see there is an error by the way now what exactly I need if there is an error I will suggest you now to press ok it, there is a chances to for plan shift to crash down fine now uh, I have the total rectangle only so I need the height as well so I can create another formula okay this total should multiply by the height you see now error is gone when the formula works in a proper way there is no error it means you're going in the right direction now what is the output you need you need square meter it's fine output unit is also fine okay so it's just a regular a standard calculation formulas only nothing special I have prepared it press ok formula is created let's go to home tab now we want to measure the formula is here under my name new formula is here just click here column software will ask you what's the name so it's C2 and we have another tab beside when I click here I can see length width and height we can type here okay width is here length is here and height is 3 point something we can see in detail press ok now when I click as an example only I'm just giving you the example click you can count it right click and stop when you stop and you go to estimating tab you can see here all 10 number you count it your volume quantity is 0 0.88 and shuttering is this much so you have the result automatically later you will have many column again click here this time it's C3 you can change the uh, width okay sure the width here is this one this one and height is 3.5 press ok just click wherever you see it when you stop and go to estimating tab you already have it so one time formula creation can help you a lot in future if I want to edit this right click in property and I can add it I can modify the name and color and even here I can change it now it's I have everything what if I want to see this on excel sheet so I will click here export to excel software will quickly generate the new excel sheet and here I have it here I have it how I deal with it maybe I change the color maybe I apply some formula that's just a regular stuff nothing special so I have the total number volume shuttering as I want okay in plan set I can say it uh, what if we don't see this okay let me give you the example I'm on this tab right now and I have only uh, quantities here name I mean units and page 
how to bring volume quantity and shuttering if you click on a column you cannot see this because it's never existed so how to bring those because the shuttering and V quantity we created new plans if doesn't know we have to call them now so we can click here plus soft software will ask you what's the name so you can click here okay volume quantity and it's a number if you type the correct name it will show you automatically volume quantity this is the one if you want to see the units find the units it's here just check it will appear what about shuttering let's add now column plus shuttering now I'll make a mistake I'll not type G for shuttering you will see it number I cannot see anything because software don't know what is shuttering software don't know software will only show you if something is existing and if you forget the name what was the name by the way right click in property advance these are the things you can call even your created shuttering is also here okay it's shuttering and on the other side we can call for costing for markup so many things okay so it's shuttering and if you forget we can maybe copy okay close this when I go to column and I say it's shuttering it's a number and I want to see units as well you will see it appear so you have to type the correct name so maybe you can arrange here so here what you learn how to see it in estimating tab and how to create the template as well so if you want this view click here export it will go there and by the way I have this button when I press this button I can say it five number I have done on first floor ten number on first floor accordingly if I want this view I will just press this button okay so that's how it will work one time formula it can help you a lot so this is about column uh, formula we can create it there are multiple way to deal multiple trust me uh, I just show you one way and I just try to show you how plans of connect maybe following the same process you can create your own formula by adding wastage factor by adding different calculation and you can get the maximum result I just show you the way how to create the formula I hope you learn this and enjoy this video now for your reference I will uh, attach the this Excel sheet link in the description so you can download if you just want to practice it I will attach this in description plus I will attach this drawing so you can practice maybe if you don't have any drawing to practice second and third I will Keep the plan shift download link also in the description. You can download free trial version. It is for two weeks. It will also help you to learn and practice more the advanced version. So these three things will be in the description. And if you really learn and enjoy this video, I will suggest you to visit my YouTube channel because here you will find more videos of customization, formula creating, plan shift queries, some technical things and even demo as I have mentioned earlier and uh, please sub show your support by subscribing the channel and if you really want to learn more uh, just stay connected because in future I will upload more videos with more smart ideas so simply learn for your own growth thank you so much that's it for today take care guys stay safe